Okay, so ventral sexing 101. So you'll have the tarantula's abdomen. Okay, and uh, yeah, I'm clearly an artist, so roast me. Um, you'll have the posterior book lungs, right? And then you'll have what a lot of people refer to as the spermithica. And don't let that fool you because the spermithica is actually inside the tarantula. When people do molt sexing, it's what they're looking for. It's a little flap that's on the inside of the tarantula. Get a better view there. Um, then you'll have the anterior book lungs, right? And then typically with the baboon species, what you'll see is you'll see like another thin line that kind of comes out just a little bit. Right? And then you'll have a plate here that comes up like this. And it usually ends right before the main body section. I know this picture looks horrible, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of what you're looking for from like a female. Usually there's like some darkening in this area, right? And then for males, you kind of have the same thing, except typically you have a more narrow abdomen. And then you have posterior book lungs. And then you'll have the spermithica. And then you'll have the anterior buck lungs. And then you'll get the main body section, right? And then above the main body section, you'll see a little bit more flesh in that area. It's um, usually like... darkened area kind of like the fleshy stuff that you normally see like in between their ligaments and stuff also um with the baboon species like the hmac heteroscodermaculata will have um much longer legs than the female and the abdomen area will be quite a bit smaller than the rest of the main body Let's see if I can't give you an example because I've got several baboons here. I don't know if this one wants to cooperate with me. And typically it's best to check a molt, but... And this may be kind of hard to see. Because there's a bunch of webbing there. Let's see if I can't turn the light off here. Let's see if that helps there. So this is my... Um, I'm pretty sure this is a male. Uh, Harpactera pulker piece. Um, fuck that light is shit. There. Maybe you can get a better view that way. But... I think this is a male because the legs are much larger. The abdomen itself is quite a bit smaller than what you would normally see from a species like this. Now this particular specimen right here is um, quite a bit larger. Man, they're so fast. They're quite a bit larger. Um, in the thorax section, and the legs are quite a bit larger than what you would see on a normal female. Um, give me just a second. Now, these two species obviously are not the same. And this one's not really presenting very well, but this is my uh, 
Terraniculus marinus, the uh, orange baboon tarantula, or as some have come to call it, the orange bitey thing. Um, as you can see, the abdomen is definitely more full. Um, this is being obviously a younger species, but you see that the abdomen is more full, and the thorax section itself is a lot smaller, and the legs are quite a bit smaller. So that's that's kind of typical for baboons. Um, now I've got this little guy right here. And this one's kind of hard to tell. Uh, Grandma stole a polker piece. So this is a New World species right here. If I can get a good view. Which probably not. But you can kind of see the same thing going on. Obviously with the New World species. The abdomen's usually quite a bit larger. Um, but... There's definitely a difference here. Um, if you can see it, the spermithica, as they call it, kind of ends abruptly in between the book lungs, and you don't really see that plate that I was describing earlier. Also, you can tell that the thorax section, along with the legs, are pretty close to the same size. That would kind of make me believe that this is obviously a male, in my opinion. Um, I don't have my HMAC available. She, or I think she's a she, she likes to hide quite a bit. But she's in there somewhere. But, and I don't know if you can really see that, but. You see the abdomen right there if you can. Uh, I need a light diffuser. That would help quite a bit. But if you can see that, the abdomen's quite a bit larger than the rest of the body. Or the thorax as you would call it. But, yeah, that's kind of what you're looking for when you're trying to do ventral sexing. You're going for, like, the overall view of the tarantula. Um, you're kind of comparing the length of the body with the, um... That one's still post-molt. I wonder if this one's out... This one's just a baby baby. But you can kind of see that's a Lasiodora parhabana. And she's really tiny. Really, really tiny. She's not even quarter size yet. Um, but yeah. That's kind of what you're looking for.